Once again, the launching phase takes us from the end of the loading phase to the contact point with the ball, and it consists of five noticeable movements. And in this video, we are going to talk about the third movement, which is the forward rotation of the spine, and identify the muscles involved with this motion. The forward rotation of the spine refers to the direction and movement that takes place in the upper body during the launching phase, which is forward toward the pitcher. Now, if you recall in video number three of this series, we talked about the backward rotation of the spine in the loading phase, and this was where the chest, abdomen, and essentially the entire upper body were all turned back toward the catcher, as seen here from behind home plate. In that video, we identified the muscles responsible for this movement as the lateral rotators of the spine on the left side of the player's body. Specifically, the names of these muscles are the external abdominal oblique, the multifidus, and the rotatory spinae muscles. Now, the contraction of these muscles on the player's left side during the loading phase caused the lateral rotators of the spine on the player's right side to stretch. And it is now during the launching phase where we can see the effect of these stretched lateral rotators of the spine on the right side of the player's body. Notice how at the beginning of the launching phase seen here that we cannot see the number on the back of the player's jersey. But as he begins to swing, his entire upper body is turning so that at contact, his number is completely visible. This turning of the spine and upper body is a direct result of the contraction taking place in these lateral rotators of the spine on the player's right side. And again, their names are the external abdominal oblique, the multifidus, and the rotatory spinae muscles. So now, if we look across home plate, as the hips begin their explosive rotation toward the pitcher, and torque is building across the player's pelvis, this ever-increasing rotational power source is also being combined with a contraction of the lateral rotators of the spine on the player's right side. This intense buildup of speed and power in the lower body and upper body helps to pull the arms around to deliver a quicker, stronger, and more dynamic rotational bat swing. In the next video, we are going to talk about the fourth noticeable movement in the launching phase, which is the pushing and pulling action of the arms and shoulders, and identify the muscles involved with these motions. Thanks for watching the video, and if you'd like to, please leave a comment or suggestion regarding this segment of The Anatomy of the Baseball Swing.